Welcome back to Let's Use the C Word. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit of news with you um, following a, an appointment with my oncologist this week. And I am delighted to be able to say that he talked me through uh, my CT scan. Uh, he was able to show me all of kind of my insides, uh, look at my lungs, my liver. And the really good news is I'm all clear. So I am officially cancer free. So, you know, absolutely fabulous news. Um, if not a little bit overwhelming, if I'm honest, uh, it's kind of, we, we kind of knew that that was probably the outcome, but until somebody, I guess, in that position of authority with the scan in front of them, kind of talks you through it and says, this is where we're at. Um, there's an element of doubt, I think. Well, certainly there was an element of doubt in my mind. So really, really good news. So, so pleased. Um, so the next steps of my journey are to continue the recovery from the surgery itself. Uh, I am still having some side effects from the chemotherapy. The other really kind of reassuring piece of news was that the oncologist was able to tell me that that is normal. Some of the things that I'm experiencing can happen up to kind of six months, maybe even longer. Um, in particular, I've got like a tingling in my fingers that's, uh, hanging around. Uh, and that actually may never subside, but hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it, it will do over time. Um, and that's exactly what these remaining side effects will do. They'll start to kind of disappear or get easier over time. Um, and so therefore I will be getting back up to a kind of normal way of living. Um, as I said, there's a few kicking around um, and I'm just gonna manage those. The next thing that actually happens is uh, the removal of my port calf. And again, that was a really lovely thing that the oncologist was able to say because of where I am and the news that he was able to share. He's confident that there's no need to keep that in. And again, that's like, a, it's almost like a seal of approval that things are coming to a close. So really, really good news. Um, that I think will happen probably in the next couple of weeks. We're waiting for an appointment. Not entirely sure what's involved in terms of sedation on that one, uh, but we'll, we'll watch this space. And I'll, I'll do an update and let you know kind of when that actually happens. And, and then I've got nothing kind of attached to me or inside me. So really, really good news. Um, started the process of uh, getting back to work as well. So that will also happen in the next couple of weeks. And the next thing in terms of this journey is, uh, the oncologist called it something wonderful actually. Uh, he called it surveillance. And effectively what that means is, I already know that uh, the surgeon will see me every three months just to check out all of the new stuff is working as it should. And the oncologist will see me every six months and they'll continue to do scans, again, just to basically check that everything's okay, make sure that there's nothing else going on that I need to um, be aware of. So overall, all good news. Uh, there are a couple of things that, that he showed me on the CT scan, which were absolutely fascinating. So I've got something on my right lung which is effectively scar tissue because from the surgery they had to um, collapse that lung in order to get to the esophagus. And what you can see on the scan is, is the impact of that. And he said that will get a, uh, a kind of lighter over time, uh, probably never actually disappear entirely, but it's really fascinating to kind of see and you can, you know, you can see the new, new way of working that I've got. And again, that was quite interesting, if not a little bit bizarre. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share the really good news. Um, I'll keep you updated because as I said, next step is port calf. Um, and then I've got my ongoing um, kind of checkups and things. And then it's just building my strength back up so that I can kind of move onwards and upwards. So thank you again for checking in and uh, I will catch up with you very soon.